This is the future. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvalo Grim here and welcome to another video. We're gonna have a lot of struggles in this one because we got to tier 5 sub bosses. We're gonna have some interesting stuff with some decent damage and we're also gonna have some um, rather annoying situations like this one where I'm fighting the Trustus and I got greedy with your Plant Sacrament here. So, with this dude, even if you can come on drop, it's advisable to have a Fodder Box in here or a Chakra to heal yourself or to leave a Shazam alive. I went all out on this one, we're gonna have the um, level 3 Dark Metal cards on King. We didn't have any artifact on Dr. Fate because the level 3 Dark Metal cards is the only artifact that I do have on this account in terms of passive stats in uh, Dark Knight Soul Rates. And we're gonna pin this dude to the corner, we're gonna keep... Uh, and that was a lag there, I had no input on that, I swear there was no input I could do on that to have a better outcome there. And this was a huge mistake doing the special tree because doing the special tree costed me a lot of energy and this dude just got to super move level. I'm gonna try to extend the time we have until he uses super move by, by a few swipe downs, but King got killed there sadly and we're not gonna revive with as much health as I would have wanted to. We're gonna try to push him all the way back to the corner, thankfully it went well and he didn't do any back up into a jump, we would have been dead there. And we're gonna do keep doing special trades. Yet again, worst case scenario, we just get out 3 special trades and we're gonna be fine. But I'm at the point where I'm on a clock here because I can combo and trap this dude as long as I do it flawlessly. We're not gonna have any troubles. But the problem is I'm so low on health that we're eventually gonna die to combo interruption. That's uh, where a chakra artifact would have come in handy or a fodder box. Or just not using that special free before he used super move and revive with a decent amount of health. But yeah, there's no percentage damage on that special free, so it's fine. At this point, I know for a fact that we were able to um, get all our percentage damage sorted out. Last combo interruption, I can survive, and maybe I should have done a super move. I decided to go for a special free there because it was also a guaranteed crit on that. Maybe super move would have done more, and I tried to back off here a bit, and he decides to go with the special free, and that's the end of me. But look, this could have gone far worse, I, I, I did a decent amount of damage, I'm, I'm borderline happy with this fight. Over here I'm gonna give Power Girl to the League of Anarchy, I'm gonna use uh, Harper, Harley Quinn and EPI and I'm gonna cycle in between them. Well, the game is gonna cycle in between them because I got no saying in when they tag in. And we got uh, Claw Force on Harley, and usually Claw Force is gonna be a good choice for Harley because she might struggle with power generation if you decide to not give them Power Girl. But with Power Girl in there, Claw Force I think was a bad choice, and I should have put the level 3 Dark Metal cards on Harley for the additional crit damage. And we would have definitely gotten higher numbers out of that being on Harley and not on EPI. But yeah, it's, it's too late for regrets now, just pointing that out. If you are gonna for sure be able to um, give a Power Girl to your Harley, then you should definitely opt for Dark Metal cards instead of Claw Forest. Only, only do that if you know you're gonna struggle with power generation and you know you're not gonna be able to spam the special too. Come on, interrupting again here. We need to be very careful with the super move that he's got because we do not want that on Harley because Harley he will die. EPI will survive though. I I think I think I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I think she will survive. And uh, we might want to also time with EPI sometimes the special tree so that um, uh, we use it right before Harley tags in, uh, so that she tags in onto a stun the Trustus and she can start dealing some damage. That's like the ideal scenario. And I think, uh, nah, I did it perfectly here. There we go, Harley back in there. You, you kind of have to try and uh, approximate when uh, the uh, tagging is gonna happen. And also not the most optimal. Actually, this was the optimal tagging for Harley because she got uh, all the hits on the stun that was uh, yielded by EPI and she got her own stun out and uh, made the, uh, got full advantage out of that. This was too, ah, uh, not too early actually. This, this is uh, yet again decent. And I should have went for a stun there. Did too many basic attack hits before transitioning into my own stun because I got extended by the Claw Force. So, yet again, a little bit of a mistake, though it worked well enough. Like, honestly, what Claw Force did here was more like confuse me in terms of the gameplay and uh, made me want to take advantage of the small stuns that it gave me, even though uh, my own stuns would have been a greater advantage. So, yeah, Claw Force is definitely a, a bad, a poor choice. Considering we had enough power to spam special 2. Re-engage the combo DPI, combo and chop the other again. 
into uh yeah we waited too long on this one I wanted to end off with a special tree, but we waited way too long on this one. We didn't do special two with Harley straight off the bat, so um, we're not gonna take full advantage of the second stand that we land here. We barely got one hit in there, so yeah, that was that was kind of bad. Gonna do some combo DPI, and Harley is most likely not gonna get tagged in until the end of this fight. This didn't go too bad, like, Harley did not die, that's that's when it goes bad. And we did a decent amount of damage, but definitely could have gone far better. I did easily above 100 mil on this fight with the same thing that she saw previously. And I think Law Force did more bad for us than it did good. So yeah, now we're gonna get into Bad Ninja Team again, level 3 Dark Mail cards on... Uh, Batman Jacketman, and that's gonna be absolutely the only item we will have here. So for Catwoman, I think it goes without saying at this point that by far the best choice for her are gonna be Beta Club and uh, Jokerai's bat ranks. Like, boy, Jokerai's bat ranks are most likely gonna get higher values than her uh, on Beta Club. I, I can't tell for sure because my um, Jokerai's bat ranks are only level 4 and Beta Club is level 8, so that's not a fair comparison, but those definitely do show great potential. But none of them are gonna be available here, sadly, so we're gonna have to use Dark Metal cards. And don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, this is gonna be a very good scenario for Catwoman still. Like, I remember that uh, before using uh, uh, the uh, Dark Metal cards, I would uh, use uh, the God Killer. And keep in mind, when I was using the God Killer, I would have access to, uh, in the, uh, the last contract soul rate, where the uh, God Killer would give me passive stats, as it happens for Dark Metal cards in this soul rate, I would have a level 3 God Killer on Catwoman and a level 1 uh, God Killer equipped on another character. So already higher passive stats on that one, and we did 70 mil, or maybe 80 mil sometimes when we had uh, a crazy good advantage. So let's see uh, 80 mil, it's the benchmark that we're pushing against here, that we're trying to achieve more than. And uh, yeah, crit damage is great for a lot of characters and it's not something that's necessarily great synergy of crit damage with Catwoman. It is to an extent for her basic attack hits at the very least. It's more like synergy with characters that benefit from staying in the fight for extended periods of time. Like Catwoman, she loves to stay in the fight the entire fight because she keeps on stacking that lethal. If you have to tag her out to get all blade stacks, that's gonna be fine, but you're gonna miss out on a lot of lethal stacks. So this is uh, definitely gonna be a very optimal scenario for her. With the Dark Metal cards, come on, dropping again. We did pretty well, I, I think we failed once. Or we will fail once. We, 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 we'll see, we'll see. But other than that, I think this uh, was for the most part the optimal scenario here for us. Because she's combo interruptible, she doesn't have any dump resistances. And we also have a little bit of a class advantage here. Being agility against metahuman. But yet again, class... Uh, class bonuses, class advantages are something that... Uh, you should be happy if it happens. Borderline said if it happens against you, but it's not something that should rotate around your fights to avoid and take benefit of. They're just not worth that much, really. And a special trainer, and yeah, it, it went well. Now let's uh, let's see the total damage that we were able to do, and it's gonna be a total of. 114, yeah, that's fine. That's definitely more than the 18 mil that we're pushing against. Look, now with the multiverse team over here, I give I give them Shazam because I did not need Shazam with King and I wanted to save Red Hood for the uh, Collector vs. Superman team. We're going to do some sweaty ass gameplay here. I'm kind of training myself to do it against Captain Cold in League Raids. But this is gonna be for the most part the gameplay that you wanna do against Captain Cold in League Raids. With uh, building hard combo with Flash and tagging multiverse armor so we go straight into a special tree and then into a combo interruption and this is harder against captain golden ligris because yet again he's got faster openers and i uh, tend to mess it up uh, far more often here but we're gonna practice that a bit here uh and we're gonna extend the combo here actually because i wanted to, to be sure that flash is gonna be the one tagging the super move by far the most risky moment of the entire fight another special train there i'm gonna also try to not let the burning expire here because even though it doesn't matter here, you should not let the burning expire before you reapply it against high defense targets because it stacks, the burning effect stacks as long as it doesn't expire. But against here, in this scenario here, it doesn't matter, but I'm still gonna do it. Still gonna do it. Come on, drop to one, two, three, swipe right, flashback in there. 
Come on, chat. One, two, three. Swipe right. One, two, three. Tagging the stream. Do a special train. Come on, chat. One, two, three. Swipe right. So basically, this allows us to build a higher combo with Flash before tagging Multiverse Armor Supergirl, but at the same time, still be on four All Blade stacks because the other gameplay where you do uh, one full combo with Flash and then half a combo and tag uh, Multiverse Armor Supergirl after a swipe into three hits in a, into a special train is pretty much accomplishing the same thing. It's still allowing you to use special tree on uh, four all blade stacks. Is making it a little bit easier for you, but uh, it's gonna be lower combo. But by doing uh, the special tree straight when we tag in, we can have uh, a smaller window of four all blade stacks that we need in order to benefit from. It's obviously gonna be harder because you get to come of multiverse armor supergirl, and that's gonna definitely be a learning curve. But it's more damage. It's definitely far more damage, as you'll see here. So I think the highest damage I've seen out of the multiverse team, though, granted I haven't given them many chances, as they end up not being used as their bench instead, and for good reason, because their bench still still pulls far more damage than them. They just don't fit on this account either anymore in the top. Um, Six teams. I think Just League is the close to them in terms of performance compared to this fight at the release. The previously the highest I've seen out of them, though yet again, granted they haven't had the best of times, was uh, around 30 to 35 mil. So this fight definitely surprised me, and I should I should try my best to uh, play like this every single time I get the chance to do so and practice for league raids. Special train there. And this multiverse team on this account is pretty maxed out. We don't have 7 star multiverse armor supergirl and flash, that's the only thing that we're lacking. Other than that, it's pretty maxed out. And I missed out on that last special trade. I think I got greedy, could have gotten advantage of that one as well. And we did 43 mil. Oh boy, that's that's actually quite on the decent side of things. I, I do vibe with that. I do like that. So here, Collector vs Superman again into a very optimal fight for him. What, does this make uh, an optimal fight? Well, she's camo interruptible and she doesn't have damn modifiers. So we're gonna do decent damage here. Yet again, she's got class advantage against us, but as I said, that really doesn't matter. We're gonna try to stack uh, as soon as possible to max stacks with Brainiac. Uh, but at the same time, we'll tackle a little reverse even for a special one to do some power seal when needed. We messed up a bit there, though it's fine. Brainiac does need to get damaged a little bit anyway if we need to um, uh, try and activate the Collector vs Super Impassive. Though yet again, that's just base attack, so it's something that you shouldn't really go out of your way to do so. But if you can let it happen, just let it happen. So Brainiac can dare into a special one. Come on, chop to get into another special one. There we go. Come on, chop again. Another special one. So we have Dark Metal cards on. Uh, my dude, Collector vs Superman, at level 3 we have Rage Magic on Brainiac, so I make sure he doesn't die, because if he dies we lose all the lethal attack damage buffs. And we have All Blades on Red Hood for, to get a, a cheaper super move out of him. And we're gonna attack him here and let him tank the super move to trigger some uh, Collector vs Superman passives as well with him. Okay, we're at 2 stacks I think, for some reason if a character straight up dies we get 2 stacks instead of 1. It, it might be a little bit of a bug, but I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Use our own super move, it's kind of worth it, it's kind of not. The, the big advantage is that you also power steal, so we're not missing out on magic except for um, uh, not having the enemy lodged against the corner anymore. You're going for another special tree here. I get character versus uh, super into 5 stars, still missing the boots though, I'm, I'm running on 4 gears here. So it's, uh, it's 4 stars with 4 gears, level uh, 70 gears. And we get hit a bit here and uh, I take advantage of that to tag Brainiac so he can tank another special and hopefully trigger the passive yet again. There we go, we're at 3 stacks of the passive and that's where we're gonna sit. No, not worth it to try and trigger any more stacks, really not worth it. So here we're gonna go full into combo interruption and into special trees. Hopefully the uh, passive is gonna trigger a lot of times, which it didn't happen here, where we keep our combo, because that's gonna be a huge part of Collector vs Superman damage, if he keeps the combo after using the special, that's gonna be one of the great things about that. Okay, so we kept the combo, now another special tree on a 40 hit combo, there we go, that's uh, 3.5 mil, some, something close to that, or 3.4, definitely vibing with that, another one, this is definitely a 3.5. I mean, 10k away from 3.5, but look, look, let's, uh, let's, let's be fair here, okay, a special one in there. 
combo in shopping again, trying to get the most out of the combo because it's the last minute, so we're not gonna have a great time in terms of combo here. In terms of energy, excuse me, so we need to make the best of, out of our combo. And here, I maybe should have stolen power the special one, but I was like, we kept the combo, so let's just save it up for a special train. And there we go, that's gonna be yet another 3.5 mil. Come on, chopping again, and yeah, yeah, it, it's it's going well. He did well, my dude did well, I don't regret building him. If I would have a Manta, I would never build this dude, but I don't on the skill, so he's gonna be a good replacement. Now for the fight that you've all been waiting for, we got Raven plus Justic team. And uh, not a great start, dude, because we got, we got messed up here a bit. Uh... A huge downside of this team and an annoyance factor is that for some reason, for some reason, for whatever reason, my boy Just Like Flash is gonna have a longer tagging cooldown. It's gonna take like half a second longer than the other characters in just two mobile to be able to be tagged back in. And I hate that. I don't know why that happens, but that has always been the thing and it's gonna be the thing here. We have no gears on Raven, so we need to be extra careful and we need to be extra careful with Flash as well because He's a feeble man, okay? He, he's not gonna be able to take much of a hit before dying. We have region metrics on Raven, we have uh, level 3 dark metal cards on Flash, and we have uh, region metrics on Cyborg also, as far as I remember. Cyborg in there, tank the super move. Okay, he revived. She did a 69 on us, which, which I'm not too mad about, to be honest, to be fair. Okay, we're gonna... Re-engage with Flash here, and yet again we got we got hit pretty badly. Raven back in there, a little bit of a risky tagging, but it's okay. She had region metrics. Worst case scenario, we would have um, been a been uh, able to revive there. And uh, doing some more combo with Flash, and the the damage is pretty decent. It's definitely on the decent side of things, if I might say so myself. Trying to figure out the optimal scenario to see how much we can really get out of him before we need to tag him out. Come on, chop thing again, and boy, when when it's a fast tech hit and a swipe right, because he does slightly more on swipe rights, I, I would say the damage definitely bypasses uh, one mil, maybe one mil two hundred per basic attack hit. That's that's okay. We b almost lost the stacks there though. That was not good. That was a very close call there. Come on, chop thing again. Come on, chop thing again. Into another special tree. That's a six mil on the special tree. Definitely, definitely vibing with those amounts. And yet again, this is not something you should use over the League of Anarchy Raven. But look, there's no way I'm gonna be able to use League of Anarchy Raven or anything Raven against Boss Atrustus on this account. That is simply not a possibility, so I I'm gonna take full advantage of this uh, scenario that's happening here. And I'm gonna try my best to try Raven with other teams and try to provide some nice content for you. Just keep in mind! This is more like for entertainment purposes, this is usually not worth doing because Raven is gonna do far more with other teams, but it, it's doing decently here. Flash is level 7 gears, 6 stars, decent build. And yet again, the level 3 Dark Metal cards is the only thing that gives us any attack or passive stats or passive artifact passives. If that makes any sense, come on, chopped again. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video with this fight. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do like and comment and subscribe. It does help out the channel a lot. With that being said, I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. And we got... That's fine. This is the future.